welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back because we are having another look at a Flossy by Freddy collection. If you have been here before you probably know that I generally always share with you a lot of clothes that I buy, a lot of things that I find inspiring and I always share my Flossy buys so I thought today I would share with you what I purchased out of the Ensemble collection. I really want to apologize that I think a neighbor has started like hammering or something um, outside but my microphones aren't charged I just got back from the UK literally less than what was it no just over 12 hours ago so I'm very jet lagged I'm very tired but I really wanted to film this video and bring it to you as soon as I could because I know a lot of you have probably been considering these items and you know, a bit on the fence and maybe want to see a few reviews on them. So please excuse the fact that I'm very, very jet lagged right now. I'm very tired. Um, I just want to start off by saying that I think the Ensemble collection is the best collection from Flossy by Freddy. The reason I'm saying this is it's a permanent collection. So don't panic if you can't decide if you want things now because there's going to be restocks and everything. And it, they also mix and match to create different looks. And quite frankly, the price points are just a lot more reasonable and affordable for most people. I think the fact that you can create different looks just makes the whole thing a lot more worth your money. I adore all my Flossy by Freddy dresses, I truly do, but most of them because they are more like lent towards occasion wear. Sorry, please excuse the noise of the aircon coming on. It is a hot day here in Kansas. But yeah, all my Flossy by Freddy dresses are stunning and I love them, but they are more tailored towards, you know, occasion wear and I don't get as much wear out of some of them as others. And so therefore I just feel like this collection is just, I love it because I just feel like it has something for everyone. I did not buy the Audrey dress. So I just want to state that if you're looking for a review on that, I'm sorry, I did not buy that piece, mainly because I'm very in between sizes right now. And I just wasn't sure what size I would want to get in that. Whereas I felt a little bit more confident in picking a size for the other pieces. Um, also, as much as I love the Audrey dress, I do now live in Kansas. Our summers are hot, okay? And for me, boucle is not necessarily the most useful material. It's probably more of a spring material for me. And so the dress, even though it's intended on being more of a summer piece, like the other pieces of the collection, um, they are great for British summer, but for where I am right now, they're not. And even the pieces I have bought are definitely gonna be more like spring, autumn for me. But anyway, without further ado, let me get the pieces, show you everything. I'm gonna show you the packaging and stuff first too, because I know some of you enjoy seeing that and I will talk you through the pieces, show them on. And then I thought I would also end on comparing the Coco set to the Coco dress because the Coco dress is one that I never have reviewed on a video personally. And I just thought I could talk through the differences in case you're interested. If you're not, just skip that last part of the video, but I just thought it might be interesting to completely compare them. So with this Flossy by Freddy collection, I had it ordered to my parents' house um, because it was $50 shipping to America, which is pretty steep. Um, most companies I order from are about $15 from the UK. Like I ordered from Marks and Spencers. I think that's like $16, $17. Um, so $50 is very, very high. I understand it's probably because, you know, it's, a small business and so Freddie probably doesn't have like some kind of like mass agreement with postage or whatever like um, that I, I get it but obviously that adds a significant cost plus the price point in dollars is slightly higher even with the conversion like than it costs in Great British pounds so for me it was just a lot more beneficial to do that because I knew I was going to visit my parents in the UK I decided to um, order my things there it does mean that I have come back in my suitcase with me. They're a bit screwed up, so please excuse that in the video, but I just wanted to get this to you as quickly as I could. So when I got to my parents, there was a massive box, which I was really surprised with four items. And then every single item was in one of these, which is like a little cardboard pouch, which has Flossy by Freddy printed on, and it just ties up with like a little bit of string. So I thought I'd just show you that because I thought this was kind of cute. But most importantly, each item comes in one of these really, really cute drawstring bags with the Flossy by Freddy logo. And um, yeah, the, the, I must say the string's a little bit stiff 
people. <laughs> I do just think they're really, really cute. And it made it perfect, you know, because I was flying back with them to keep them well, safe and protected. So let's start off with the Grace blouse. Um, it is a beautiful satin blouse and it also has the pussy bow detail. Obviously you'll see it better when it's on. It also has some, let me find them. Uh, buttons just here just this like shimmery button but it actually um, you can't see these when you're wearing it because it has like a part that conceals the buttons but it feels beautiful obviously if you're gonna compare it to silk it's not as good but for the price point for such a good satin it's really really good I've got some good satin shirts before from brands like Hawes and Curtis and honestly this feels at least as good maybe even better if I'm honest um, there are these two little buttons on the cuffs, just these two little white buttons. Um, but yeah, I, I, I must say I was undecided about buying this because I have so many shirts, I really do. And I have a few pussy bow ones, I have some silk ones. I was like, is this even really gonna add anything to my wardrobe? But there was something I really liked about it. I like this little ruching detail. It's very, very subtle, but it's there on the shoulders. And I just think because the price point for this collection to me is a lot more reasonable than the others. And I feel like this is a piece I will wear with so many different outfits and so many combinations. I just decided to go for it. Oh, and I love that you can hand wash this item. So it will make, you know, cleaning this a lot easier because I do know a lot of the Flossy by Freddy is like dry clean only or something like that and uh, that can be a little annoying so I love that you can hand wash this. So next are the Kelly shorts. Now I was super super excited about these when I saw them because trying to find flattering shape shorts that aren't like really tight around your thigh can be so difficult and I do find that if things are tight around my thigh it's just not that flattering. I mean if I'm wearing a floaty top I will tend to go for something tighter on the bottom half because I think it needs that balance. But otherwise, like I always struggle, like, you know, summer vest tops, things like that, like finding something that fits. Now, obviously, Freddie is a huge fan of the Zimmerman shorts. I have a couple of pairs of them. I adore them. They are very, very flattering on the body. But obviously, this is a much, much, much lower price point. Um, and I just think they are a very good addition to someone's wardrobe if they haven't got shorts like this and, you know, if it's your style, I mean, you might hate it, that's fine. But if you like the kind of looser shape around the legs, I think this is really, really good. Um, they are just like, feel like they're gonna be super comfortable. Um, yeah, there isn't much more to say about them. Obviously they're very screwed up from where I traveled, um, but they just feel very, very thick, very good quality. If I have any qualms with these shorts, it is that they are dry clean only. Um, obviously that adds to your cost generally. Um, but then Zimmerman shorts are as well. Um, again, they're, obviously they're at a higher price point, so it's more expected, but you can sometimes get away with washing, hand washing Zimmerman shorts. So maybe it'll work on these, but please don't take my, my word for that. It does say dry clean only, and I just wanted you to know that. Okay, so here is the Kelly shorts and the Grace blouse on. I love both pieces. Um, please excuse, you know, like I said, that they definitely need a steam from where they have been, well, shipped to my parents in the UK and then shipped with me back to the US. Obviously, they've been through a lot. And I also, I, do, I can't do these up by myself. So um, I'm home alone. So I'm sorry, but you know, you get the idea, right? Um, but they are sort of this length. So if you have a bracelet, you would see it, which I think is really cute. And I'm also not the best at tying bows, um, but I do think this shirt is very, very cute. And the shorts, I do just love how they're not tight around here because I hate that feeling when you like move in shorts and it's just tight. So I think they are a really flattering cut or very comfortable cut, even more importantly. Um, yeah. Thought I'd give you a little twirl just so you can see. They are both quite basic items, but I just feel like they have that slight elevation where you can add something. And as I mentioned, I love the little bit here on the shoulders of the shirt. I just think that really adds something. So yeah, they are quite basic, but I feel like it makes them go with so many things and it makes them just so much more worth it in the wardrobe. And they just feel really, really nice on. Oh, and I did forget to mention that the Kelly shirt has pockets. So that's a really nice detail if you need that kind of usefulness. I mean, I do think obviously when you put things in short pockets, it can make them look a little bit bulky, but I just, 
I do love a good pair of pockets in my shorts, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and now for the Coco collection. This is the top, so let's start with it. Um, I just think it's so pretty. I do love the buttons on the Coco. I just think they are stunning. They are so pretty with the gold, with the, just like the silver diamantes. Um, and I do love the material. I love the boucle from the Coco. So I just think this top is super, super cute. And here is the Coco skirt. Now this is by far my favorite piece, I would say, from the collection, just because I do really love the cocoa material and I do feel that boucle skirts are something I just like to wear quite a lot. Um, so I feel like this will be one of my most worn items just because I think this is so pretty. I just think it's such a stunning design. Again, it's got the little buttons um, and it also has a concealed zip at the back. Um, yeah, honestly, what's not to love about this? Actually, I can tell you what's not to love about this and that it is that it's spot clean only. And I'm quite clumsy, so I'm scared I'm gonna ruin this. So yeah, if I have any qualms, it's that I get it. It's boucle material and whatever. It's not the easiest to clean. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that puts me off. I do much prefer stuff that can go in the washing machine. That's why I was quite a fan of, you know, pieces from Freddy's collection that can. Okay, and this is the Coco set on. I think it is so pretty. It is so cute. The skirt. I love. Like I said, I feel like that item for me specifically, I feel like can go with so many like white or cream tops or whatever. I feel like it'll create quite a few different looks and I think it will look really nice, you know, with um, some long boots and a little like thin knitwear in the like sort of winter, autumn, winter, spring kind of time whenever you feel like utilising the colours. But I just think it's so cute. Um, I do love the top as well. Um, it fits a little iffy on me. I'm gonna keep it. It is definitely probably the right size that I could have gotten for myself. But um, let's start by saying I got these both in a size medium. The skirt has like no wiggle room. So I think a large would be more comfortable, but I do think it would be too loose. Um, whereas, yeah, the Kelly shorts in comparison have a lot more room. They're both size medium, but the uh, short, uh, shorts, the skirt is definitely tighter. I'm guessing it's the boucle material, but what annoys me with Lost Boy Freddy is it always says, oh, go on your measurements, but they give one measurement guide for every item, which is the same, because I did actually look this up thinking that the boucle could be tighter and they have the same size chart and they're not the same size. I'm sorry, they're really not. Um, this is definitely smaller. I can wear it. It does up fine. Um, let me spin around and show you. Like it does up fine, but it definitely is that little bit uncomfortable. Like I just wish it just had like, I just need a tiny bit of space. Like I said, I really need that in between medium and large and philosophy Freddy, but I feel like the large would definitely be too big and I'd have like the issue with the skirt moving around a lot. So I'm still really pleased that I got this size, but just be aware of that. And then, as I mentioned, the top isn't fitting quite as nicely. You can probably see it's trying to gape a little bit here. The top is not too small. It has tons of room in it. Um, I don't know, it, it just seems more to gape. I do have double D breasts. So, you know, they're not the tiniest, but they're not humongous. And I don't know, it just seems to want to pull there. Um, it is a little bit tighter around the bottom side of the boobs because they've definitely made like the waist higher, you know, that part tighter than the top. Like the shoulders have so much excess room, which is kind of the issue was I was having with Philosopher Freddy getting the size large is it was always too loose in the shoulders. I do have quite small shoulders, I think. And then I carry a lot of my fat around the belly area, but it is just something that does frustrate me a little bit with the sizing of Philosopher Freddy is it just always seems to be a lot of excess material up here and not down here for me, but this isn't tight by any means. This has still got a lot of room, even on the lower end. It's just that this bit is trying to gape. But I did see someone who had bought like, I think an extra small, small extra small, and they had like no boobs and theirs are still trying to gape here. Um, so I don't know if that's just how it works with the material, but I still think the set's stunning. I don't think this gapes or fits 
badly enough that I wouldn't wear it. I still think it makes a really cute set. I mean, let me know your opinions on that. If you were like, no, the top looks awful on you, do let me know. But for me, I don't think it's that bad. It's just, it could do with a bit of tweaking in size. But overall, I do love the set. I think it's a really, really stunning set. And, um, I, you know, I was so excited to get it and I'm so happy I have got it. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, kind of my opinion. Like it feels really good quality and everything like that. So um, that's all I really have to tell you about this set. Um, but I will compare it to the Coco dress, just in case you're wondering the differences, because maybe, you know, you can't visualize that in your head. So I thought we could do a little side by side. So, that you can see. So I kept thinking, what is the best way to do side by side? I have taken a photo of me in both that we can compare in a minute, but I just thought laying them on the ground and letting you actually see the differences. Um, I mean, you can tell my dress, I think is a little older and that's been worn a few times, but let's go in hard with the differences. So as you can probably tell, the main difference is obviously in the top. Um, the dress is a lot more plain and simple, although I do really like that aspect in the dress design. But obviously the top just has that little bit more elevation because it has the little buttons. And um, just generally, I think with the white stripe down the middle, makes it just a little bit more like standout-ish. But I do kind of miss the rim on the neck that the dress has. I really like this actually and I do like it on the sleeves too. I don't think that would look right on the the top and I guess with how the buttons are it probably wouldn't look right on this top either but I do really really like this detail on the Coco dress. So that's the main difference. Then obviously this has a waistband and in this combo you get the gap where I guess that would be. So that's just obviously an obvious difference. Then the skirt portions are actually super, super similar, as you can tell. I will say, I think the individual skirt is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, also on this one, the pockets are fake. They're just a little sort of design there. On here, again, the pockets are fake but they're actually like the whole thing is like sewn in as a fake pocket on this one it's just like the tops i did notice an ever so slight difference on the buttons and that is that this gold seems to be a little bit more like understated whereas on these ones it seems a bit brighter i don't know if that's because the item you know obviously my dress is older but i don't really feel like it is um but yeah they're sort of the main differences what i will say about them on so let's let's switch to the photos of me wearing them it is a lot easier to put on the coco set the zip on the skirt is really easy and obviously the top does undo so you can tie like just put it on and do it up at the front it's easy the dress because it zips right up to the back of your neck is a little awkward on your own and mine personally i had real issues with the zip I, it always gets stuck like even when my husband does it he really 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 struggles um so I just don't really have much chance of getting it on on my own in this photo that you see I actually don't have it done up at the back because I couldn't do it on my own <laughs> so that's just you know something to keep in mind when I'm comparing them um so if I was to conclude what I prefer is a hard one because the cocoa dress does really hold us like you know, a, a big part of my heart because I just adored that Flossy Boy Freddy dress and it's the original collection, like when I first got it. But I do think that the set in the ensemble is just, it's just better value. It's a lot more versatile. I love that you can, you're you gonna be able to mix and match things with them. Whereas the dress is kind of the dress. I, get, I mean, you can put the grace blouse with the dress. And that, I guess that's what I would say about the Coco dress versus the Coco set. It just has less versatility, but I do love both. So that is everything that I bought from the Ensemble collection. I hope you've enjoyed just getting my opinions on it and just sort of seeing what I thought. And if you're undecided, I hope this maybe has helped you decide whether you want to purchase anything from the collection. As I said, I do think it is the best collection in terms of wearability, like, 
you know, the amount that you'll get for cost per wear, I think in a lot of cases. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't already and you're considering it. I, I do strongly recommend it, especially I think if it's, you know, if you spot an item that you think you'll wear a lot, I definitely think it is worth it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again real soon. Bye.